What is going on guys? It is Jack here again. Oh my gosh, it has been such a long time since I've done any sort of vlogs. Whether it's, you know, going to, going to school, bike riding, whatever, you name it. I have not been doing it for a while. Excuse the hat, my hair is a little bit shrumpy dumpy today. But that's not, the, that's not the major thing we're doing today. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off real quick. Get you some light in there. We are good to go. Alrighty, so... Today's vlog, I'm going to go over kind of a short little detail of the different cues that I have right now and where I started and where I'm at right now. So let me just go ahead and show you. There's four right there. So let's see how well I can do this. That's the downs I can show you guys. A little bit better. All right. So, this one right here is my player's uh, Pure HXT 65, 66, something like that. I don't know. It's about $180 Q. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice for, for what it is. I'd say it's a very entry-level Q. Um, but I have quickly not maxed out its capabilities, but I've gotten pretty close. Um, this does come with the... HXT Purex technology shaft. Um, it does have a Kamui soft tip up front. Uh, if you guys don't know that, um, I think it's a really good cue. It's something you can really grow into. You can really learn a lot from it. Um, it's something that has benefited me pretty a lot. Actually, has been my game so much better and has allowed me to control the cue a lot better than what I was before. Um, Kind of in conjunction with all this, I've really worked on my form. Uh, I've gotten a lot better. Um, joined a couple different leagues here and there. Cash League in particular that I shoot on Wednesdays at the Fat Parrot. If you guys want to come down and see me, that's great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it about that cue. Uh, I've had it for over a year now. And I haven't abused it, but I've, I've definitely got its use out of it. Um, I'd say I probably got maybe a year left of it before I have to replace something. Most likely the shaft. I'm looking to get an OB shaft. Something that's, I don't know if I want to stick with the 1275 millimeter tip or take it down to maybe 12.5 or a, something a little bit skinnier. Um, something nice to try. Um, next up is this key right here. That is the newest addition to my Q collection. That is, it didn't even have a name on it. It's just a, it's a break cue that I bought off of uh, my captain of my of the uh, league that I shoot with. And uh, long story short, um, he was selling, He had the Q for a while. Um, he made it himself, put it all together. Um, this right here, I don't. There's nothing really significant about it. Um, it's just coloring tape. Makes it, I guess, just makes it a little bit distinctful. Uh, distinctful. Make sure I said that correctly. Uh, just the big thing about it is twenty. That's not twenty. It's a. It was a twenty. I cut it down. I cut the weight ball in half, so I, I took an ounce off. So now it's a nineteen, which both my plane and shooting, both my break and my shooting cue are nineteen, which is what I like. It does have a. 14 millimeter shaft. They got a phenolic tip, phenolic brake tip on it, which works out pretty well. Um, I've won a lot of games with it. Um, I, I really like it. Now on to semi broken, semi usable Q. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna tell a little story behind it, anyways. This right here is my Venom B BRK. Bought off a friend of mine um, for, what am I paying for? I think I paid 75 plus an old break queue, which I wasn't really va valued at maybe $50. So a total of maybe 125 Not bad at all for a BK. That was really good. It came um, new. I think they're $350. Um, this is actually one of the discontinued queues just because they, they kept on coming out with the new ones. Um... I would show you, but I'm not sure if it'd pick it up on the camera. 
but there's quite a few flaws in it. One, uh, the person I bought it from changed the tip, um, and so it is no longer under uh, under the warranty of Predator, um, because Predator is made by Poison. They're the Poison is just a lower end cue of Predator. Now, there's not much difference, but once that tip was changed from a phenolic to a glass, then the warranty was voided, so I couldn't do anything about it. Hence, when I started seeing the cracks in the shaft, about three inches long, there's two of them. And I, I've been told there's uh, one more in there, but I haven't been able to find it just yet. But it was a really good cue. It kept, um, it broke very, ver broke very well. Um, I really like it. It feels really good, but the dang shaft has got some cracks in it, which really sucks. Um, there's not much I can do about it. Um, I just use it. I mainly use it now for a jump cue because this does come apart. This is a three-piece cue, um, so that's that's kind of something I, I've really enjoyed. I've gotten pretty well at my jumps. I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything, because I'm not, but I have definitely gotten a lot better at it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about this lighting, guys. Looks like I'm staring at a white wall. Worry about it too much. Now onto the very first cue I bought. Um, I did a video way back, maybe four or five years ago. This is my. Viper Fatal Shot. You can see it's a it's an SQ. Pretty standard. Um it's not that good. It's really not. Um now as a very beginner's cue, very, very inexpensive. Uh you can buy it for like sixty bucks. Right now. It sucks. Now to me, I don't like the cue. Now, to someone else who's starting, or a lower end player, or someone who's who just wants to go have fun with with pool, it's a fantastic cue to have. It's great. It's weighted real nicely. Everything is smooth about it. Um, now onto the complaints. There's a long list of them. All right, this is a twenty ounce. I no longer shoot with twenty ounces because I think they're too heavy. I don't like them. Um, it has a wrap. It has a really crappy Irish linen wrap. If that's even a thing, I don't. I don't think it's anything. Disregard all of that. Don't judge. Um, the graphics, eh? They look pretty cool. Not even close to standard, but whatever. Um, the shaft, I don't even think it has a taper on it. I really don't. Um, maybe it's tapered for like. Eight inches, like six to eight inches or something, and then it's done. So to me, it's pretty crap. Uh, the tip, I think it's a little pro. It's awful. Um, you know, even after you shape it and use a tip pick, it's still pretty awful. Um, if I had to choose my favorite cue out of all of these, it'd be my players. This thing is awesome. Uh, but it has definitely brought my level of gameplay from way down here to way up here um, it has definitely allowed me to play a lot better games um, I'm able to control the cue ball a lot better um, and I, you're probably saying well it doesn't matter what kind of cue stick you have is you know it's more about your stroke in all fairness you're right your stroke has a lot more to deal with than the type of equipment that you have I can give you or let you borrow, you know, a th uh, an $800 Predator cute that has a Z sh Z3 shaft, um, you know, it's got a 314, whatever, really nice, high end. And you can miss all the balls because your shot is not, because your stroke is not that good. And I could be using a very simple cue, $60 cue, and I'd still be able to beat you because of my, because my skills are that much better in controlling the cue ball now you are limited by the shaft via the flex or this um, which causes squirt on a ball uh, if you don't know, don't know what that is actually I'm not too sure what it is look it up good terminology to know um, it's just your cue is a gateway for you to do better in your games um, 
let me make that clear, your skill level greatly in can increase or decrease how well you play, not so much your Q. Your Q is an extension of your skill. If you don't know a lot, go with a lower in Q. If you know a lot more and are confident with your skill, go with a higher go with a higher in Q. Same goes here with now breaks. They're a little more a little more difficult to judge. Um, I know what I like. That's what I've gone with. Um, coloring, yeah, it's pretty good. But um, yeah, that's those are the cues I have right now, and they're all sitting on a let's slide these out of the way. Q claw, yeah, it's awesome. But uh, last but not least, if you were serious about pool or even remotely serious about pool, you have got to get yourself a case. Now, right over there. This girl, that mess right there. Right over there in the corner is one of my very first cases. It is a one by one, so it holds one Q, the butt, and the shaft. That's it. Now, fast forward a little bit and you get something like, you get something like this. And it's right here. So let me see that now. Focus. Okay, there you go. It is a two by four. Two butt, four shaft. It is awesome. Rolling over here to the back, you got a small pouch right here. I got a set where I got my chalks, my gloves, my small tool to go in here. And the bigger pouch right here, it would have been would have been the claw. And then the butt for my jump cube goes in there. And other various little tools go in there as well. Um, good things to look for in a quality case are a good leather strap. Um, I don't care what, what your cue case is made of, a good leather strap is very good. You also want a very sturdy carrying handle. Um, with that being said, um, it is very, it's very important. One, looks really cool. Black and done. Looks really nice. Secondly, your cues are not light. Your bag's not light. When you start putting two cues, four shafts in there, it does get a little bit hefty. So you want to have your so you want to have a good sturdy handle to carry your cues to and from your car, to the pool house, pool room, wherever you're going. And then you can have little odds and ends like a sports style for wiping your hands off, little clips. I'll explain that in a later video. But that is basically it. Um, those are kind of your introductory things. Um, I've got other things going on besides pool. Yeah, working on it. But uh, yeah, guys, awesome to check back in with you guys. Um, you guys, have any questions about about my, um, any of my pool sticks? Uh, any questions in general? Whatever, whatever the case may be, guys, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe if you like. That'd be awesome. Let me know that you know you guys are appreciating the content that I'm putting out. Um, I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, it's just something that being done my college right now, it's gonna be harder to get back to you guys. But I promise I will do my best. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Appreciate you watching the film or this vlog right here. I'll see you next time. Oop.